Hey guys, it's 2 Profi Games or Adam. Welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies Top 5. And today we're gonna be going over the top five wall weapons here in Blops 3 Zombies. And the wall weapons in Black Ops 3 Zombies are extremely powerful. So if you ever need a weapon, go to the wall because the wall weapons, the majority of the wall weapons, are better than the majority of the box weapons. So let's get into the number five spot. Starting our list off at number five, I have the Vesper. And the Vesper is relatively close to the spawn on both the Shadows of Evil and the Giant. So this is probably a wall weapon that you're gonna buy early on. And it's a great gun to have early on in the game. It's gonna give you tons of points. It's relatively cheap to buy off the wall. Ammo is cheap. And if you wanna pack a punch this thing, you can. It's actually pretty effective. Pack a punch. This is one of the weapons I used a lot early on when Black Ops 3 first came out. I always had the Vesper Pack a Punch. It's pretty effective. The only thing is, it's an SMG, of course, it has a high fire rate, so it does burn through ammo relatively quickly, which kind of could be a good thing because you want to buy ammo off the wall so you get those liquid diviniums. But overall, the Vesper is a probably, a, I would say, a good idea to buy in the earlier rounds. So coming in at number four on my list, I have the HVK-30. And the HVK-30, I gotta mention this right off the bat. This weapon has an impressive ammo count for an assault rifle. I know when you pack a punch of this thing, you have like 600 shots, and that's pretty insane for an assault rifle because there's other assault rifles, for example, like the ICR, which is a really good box weapon, and that has like 350 shots. This thing has like 600 shots, and it's uh, it, it's amazing, and it doesn't burn through ammo because it has a pretty slow fire rate. Now, the thing I like about this weapon is that the ammo count is really high. The damage, uh, I feel the damage is a little bit on the low side. Uh, the reason why I have this ahead of the Vesper is because of that ammo count. So of course, you're gonna be able to kill a lot more zombies with uh, all of the ammo compared than compared to the Vesper. But uh, always a good choice to buy this weapon off the wall. Probably wouldn't be my first choice, of course. That's why I have it in the number four spot. But uh, it's definitely a good point gun. So sliding into the number three spot on my list, I got the KN44, and this bad boy is my favorite, well not my favorite, but one of my favorite weapons in Black Ops 3 Zombies. And I don't know why, well, I do know why, but I have 5,000 kills with this weapon already. 5,000 kills! The weapon closest to that, I have like 2,000 kills. I've been using this weapon so much, especially on the Giant. Now, if you're playing on the Giant, I recommend getting this wall weapon and pack-a-punching it because it is located at the bottom of the catwalk or right beside the teleporter, so you can constantly buy ammo for this. And the reason why I keep buying it is because it's right there. I can buy wall ammo for it. It's good, and I want to get those liquid diviniums, so I keep buying this KN44, but it's really effective. I'm not just buying it because I want liquid diviniums, guys. I wouldn't do that to the KN44, but... This thing is actually really effective. Now, on Shadows, I gotta say it's in a pretty crappy location. It's kind of located where all those cars are parked by the big uh, theater or whatever you want to call it. The uh, billboards are there or the advertising, all the neon lights in that area. Really not in a good location, but on the Giant, I think this is a great gun to have on the Giant. If you're going to play the Giant, get this wall weapon, especially if you're going to be camping on the catwalk. The ammo, you do run out of ammo relatively quickly. It doesn't have a high ammo count, but again, this is a weapon you need to buy ammo off the wall constantly, but it is, uh, like I said, it's really powerful. It's a great weapon to have. So coming in at number two on my list, I've got the CUDA. And if you watched my video where I talked about the best wall weapons in Black Ops 3 Zombies, CUDA is a weapon that I mentioned because the CUDA is pretty much like the MP5 from Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 Zombies. This thing is very mobile, but in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, the damage was kind of bad. It had really low damage. It didn't kill zombies that effectively, even when pack-a-punched, but the CUDA, it's a different story. This thing, I gotta say, non-pack-a-punch, it's really not that amazing. It's good, but it's not amazing. But when you pack a punch this son of a gun, this thing becomes amazing because you have that mobility of like the MP5, you can run around really quickly, and this is a weapon that's really useful, I would say, on Shadows of Evil. Not so much the Giant, because you're camping on the Giant, but on Shadows, this is a good weapon to have just because of that mobility 
and it has like a hundred times more damage than the MP5 did in Block Ops 1 and Block Ops 2. So you have high damage and high mobility. You can run around with this thing really quickly, move around really quickly, and you have the damage that goes along with it. This thing is a beast. So coming in at number one on 2 Pro's top five Black Ops 3 wall weapons list, is the M8A7. Now this thing, this bad boy is my favorite wall weapon. It is so damn good. Now, let me tell you why it's so good. First of all, that damage though. That damage is on point. It's this thing, like one shot zombies, or say one burst zombies in the head above round 30. This thing is amazing. Second of all, this thing doesn't run out of ammo. I feel like I never run out of ammo with this gun because it's a burst weapon. Instead of going full auto on every other wall weapon, you're bursting this thing so you don't run out of ammo as quickly as you would with other weapons. And you can kill multiple zombies with one burst, and then you find yourself on round 30 never having run out of ammo the entire game just because of that burst. You pack a punch it, it's even better. I would say this right here, the reason why I put this in the number one spot is because it's probably the best wall weapon non-pack-a-punched. It's the most effective weapon non-pack-a-punched. Now, of course, uh, it's kind of close between this and the CUDA, just because that CUDA it has that mobility, but this thing has the damage and it has the ammo. Sure, you can't run as fast with it, but you're gonna you're not gonna burn through ammo as quickly. You'll kill a lot more zombies than you will with the CUDA. And overall, guys, this thing's just a monster. Please give it a try for playing on the giant or shadows. Preferably works better on the giant, of course, because you're camp. You can just sit there and burst, hit that button over and over and over again, and you'll just take care of all the zombies all the way till round 30. But it's also super effective on Shadows of Evil. So, anyways, guys, that is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.